Today in this video, we'll be overhauling the injector for the MEN generator. The board is 320mm, so it's a big generator. And uh, we'll have a complete explanation of each part. So we'll start opening the injector with a special tool for given by the manufacturer. So let's start this video. In starting, it's a little bit difficult to open the nut because it's uh, tied by the torque or up around 750 newton meter. So first, you have to use a little bit of hammer or a long spanner. And then after then, it comes easily. We'll be unscrewing the uh, nut for the locking spindle. As you can see, the nut is out but the injector atomizer part is still inside because of the suit and carbon so we'll take out it so that's how the parts inside looks like as you can see this is the complete disassembled fuel injector for IME and generator so this is the complete in fuel injector body then this is the atomizer, then this is the thrust plate or thrust carrier, you can call it. And then this is the spring, then this is the spring plate carrier. And then this is the washer which goes on the fill injector side. And then you can see the nut. This is the atomizer for this uh, fill injector. This injector was actually dripping and we had high temperature also. So now we will clean thoroughly each part and we will discard the part which needs to be renewed it needs a proper cleaning so that no dust and carbon particles are remaining so as you can see there are some rusting marks as well we have to clean it nicely then we have to check the sealing surface for the atomizer also if they are not worn out if they are worn out then the fuel will leak from this place so a clear full examination as per the maker we have to do and then this goes the high pressure pipe for the fuel so we have to check the ceiling so let's uh, explore what we have in the fuel injector body so this is the small holes this one is for the inlet and outlet for the nozzle cooling water and this is the for the fuel oil leakage then here this is for the nozzle cooling inlet and outlet then this is for the spring and this is for the inlet of the fuel so this is the clean part as looks like We have to clean the threads nicely because they are very fine threads and uh, usually we put a little bit of molly coat for the smooth tightening of the nut. So this is the how the parts are assembled as you can see this is the pattern. So as you can see there is a small allen screw also this is to hold the spring in one place it will not actually this uh, the screw allen screw is to keep the thrust piece in one place. So we'll put uh, in a horizontal position all the parts like this. The spring is inside. Now this comes a thrust piece which will press up the spring and you have to align it properly so that the fuel pipe can go inside. And then we will put the allen screw over it as we have already put. Now the tightening spindle is there and then we'll put a nut but we'll not tight it still because we have to adjust the pressure later on and check the injector. This is how this is the spindle which tightens the spring and sets the pressure for the injector. Now we have a new atomizer, we'll have to take a new one. So this nut, this is how it goes. This is the complete assembled part. Now the most important part is to tight as per the torque mentioned by the maker. So now let's test the injector. We have to test it around 375 bar. So let's see. And at the time of testing, you have to check for leakages, dripping, and also the opening pressure as well. So it's opening at 380 bar pressure. There is no dripping. The injection looks fine. So this injector is good to go.